Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are absolutely fantastic. Today, let's review, let me show you the Amazfit Bip Light smartwatch. Hope you guys like this video. You know what to do. Sit back, relax and enjoy. And before you go any further guys, please click the subscribe button and enjoy this video. Thank you for the support. Like we normally do on the channel, let's start with the unboxing and I will show you what this watch, smartwatch is all about and what it can do. This is the light version and looking at the back of the box, there's already a few specs, but I'll show you this in detail in the minute. So let me take this out of the box now. I'll leave a link down below in the video description so you guys can check it out. I'll try to get a discount coupon, but sometimes Banggood do some nice discounts as well. Check it out the link down below. Let me try to figure out how to remove this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna speed the video up a bit for you guys. And there you have it guys, the Amazfit Bip Light. Let's remove this. Oh, such a nice feeling. So let's start. 45 days battery life. That's it. See you later. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. So 45 days of battery life. You got three different colors for this watch. There is a beige, a black and a light blue. Any of the three colors, in my opinion, look really good. This smartwatch only weighs 32 grams, very lightweight. And the band here is made of silicone with 20 mil width. On the back you can see the heart rate monitor and on the side is the crown and works as a button as well. So let's press it, let's power this on using the button on the side and you are presented with this logo means you need to pair it with your phone. Soon as you pair it with your phone you get the hours, you get everything correct accordingly. The app you need to download is the Mi Fit app available for Android and iOS. And here you'll be able to pair the watch with your smartphone. So just press watch, pick the model, and that's it. That's all you need to do. This watch uses Bluetooth 4.2 connectivity. So there you go. You just need to accept and that's it. It will pick up your language and the date, the date, everything. So the phone will be paired with your new smart watch. Pretty simple to do, anyone can do it. And straight out of the box, the smartwatch asks for a firmware update. So you don't need to worry about that, just let it run. As you can see here, updating. It will ask for time to time, which is always a good thing. While the watch is doing the update, there's one more thing in the box, which is the watch charger. In comparison to the other watches that you see on the market with the Fiddly charger, Please check my Mi Band 4 video for that. This watch, the charger for this watch is pretty, pretty nice, I must say. Although the battery would last forever, a month and a half, 45 days, the charger is pretty good. Let's take it out of the box and put it to the side for now. There's also an instruction manual in the box. Let's put it there. And that's it, that's all you get. For the price, you can ask for more. Remember guys, the case of this watch is made out of a pile of carbonate casing and the glass, it's a Gorilla Glass 3 with reinforced glass. So to charge the watch, plug the charge into a USB power source, could be a power bank, could be those wall sockets with a USB plug. Just plug it there, get your watch, put it into the charger, press it on, and that's it, the watch is charging. It will take two and a half hours to fully charge this watch. You can leave it on your bedside table like that. And it's a nice, it's a nice mount, nice charger. In terms of the app that you will install on your phone to control the watch and see every activity, every sport activity, calls, notifications, all that good stuff. So let me show really quick. So you got the notification here. You'll see the percentage of the battery there. You got the alarm. You can set which app do you want the notification to be turned on or off on your smartwatch. There is also an idle alert, so you can set the watch to alert you if you stand for too long. Find watch, it will ring. I mean, vibrate, the watch doesn't ring, only vibrates, but you got the, the other way around. I'll show you that in a minute. You also have this discoverable mode. 
that I never use, to be honest with you. You can set which wrist you let using the watch left or right. And of course, one of the nice features of the watch, the heart rate monitor, heart rate detection, then you can set different settings, the watch will alert you if it goes too high, etc, etc. That's something you need to play with. Over here on this menu, you can choose a different watch face uh, through the app. Normally, the brand will release some more, but at the moment I'm doing this review, this is all you get, which is not bad, to be honest. Remember guys, this watch also has a very handy sleep tracking. Sleep tracking monitor, I don't know how you call it, that will track your sleep. Regarding the call notifications, if someone rings your phone, you will see the person who's ringing you and you'll be able to reject the call or uh, just ignore it. The watch won't produce any sound, only vibrates. Same thing happens when you set your alarm, only vibration. If for some reason you miss the call and the vibration, you can see the notification on the watch later on. You can see the missed call for the person who was and you also be able to clear it. And if someone sends you a message, same thing, you'll see a preview of the message here. Nice and easy and clear to read. So good stuff. Okay guys, moving on. The watch has a color display, 1.28 inch, always on display, so we'll be able to see the time no matter what. Even on sign on bright sunlight, as you can see here, so the watch is off, there's no backlight here, but you can see the time perfectly, you can see your heart rate, your steps, and in my honest opinion, it does look good on the wrist, it doesn't look cheap, the case looks good, the polycarbonate casing, glass on the front. Yeah, not bad. The always on display does the trick very, very well. I don't know if you guys can see the sunshine is shining right there and you can see it very well. Let's move back here to the shadow. Yeah, so far so good. No complaints here whatsoever. This watch, remember guys, has a full touch screen face, so you, you can use the button to turn the light on, or you can use the full face of the watch to navigate through the menus. Let me show the menus here. So you have the status, we'll be able to see your steps, your heart rate, your distance, and calorie burn through the day. You have your activity, this is a sport watch, so you have the outdoor, treadmill, cycling, walking, activity history and activity settings. So you can set your heart rate alert, distance, oh, sorry, heart rate, heart rate alert, so it will get a, a notification if your heart rate goes too high, pace alert, distance alert. Pretty good stuff here, very comprehensive. To start an activity, just go to the sport. It will use your your phone as a GPS um, to set your GPS, and there you go. Just need to start your exercise. You see a timer, you see a distance, you see the speed, step count. Depending on the sports, you have different options. And to stop, just press an alt and end your exercise. Alongside the sport activity monitor, you have the weather depending on your location and also it will give you a provision for the next days with the temperature as well. You also have an alarm, so you can say to uh, weekdays, every day, weekends. You also have a timer where you can have a, a stopwatch as well, a countdown and the settings of the watch. Inside the settings, you can also choose a different watch face. Let me show you what we have here. We have this one, retro style. Another one with big numbers. Very messy one in my opinion. Plenty to choose from and remember, there's more inside the app. Also inside the settings, you can set what a long press on the button will do for example, go directly to the exercise or 
turn off the watch. There's also the brightness of the watch. This is not even full brightness. There you go. Nice feature. Find the device so the phone will ring. And finally, about the watch where you can see your firmware and Bluetooth address. And that's it for the menus, guys. The watch itself, of course, this is my opinion. You guys should have your own. I think it looks pretty good. Over here, there's a quick release for the strap. Three ATMs means 30 meters underwater, water resistance, really good stuff. This has a 200 milliamps battery capacity. Always on glass display with backlight if you really want to use it. When you lift your wrist, it will light up as well if you set that on the app settings. And yeah, nice watch in my opinion, of course, nice features, 45 days of battery life, sleep tracking, heart rate monitor, multi-sports tracking. Yeah, it's not bad. The resolution could be slightly better, but overall, I think it's a very nice smart watch. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out and stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to test another Amaze Fit. It will be the GTR. Stay tuned for that. And saying that, guys, it's time to wrap this video. I must thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy it, leave the like button and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell as well so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you very much for watching again, guys, and I hope I can see you all in the next one.